And now please welcome the grandson of Hall of Fame inductee General Robert Wood Johnson and the owner of the New York Jets, Woody Johnson. Well, boy, what a great audience staying around this long. Um, an amazing, uh, amazing endurance, what a, but a great night. Um, my job to, tonight is to introduce one of my favorite New Jerseyans, Michael Douglas. And this is a true story. I didn't know he was from here. In fact, uh, when Michael asked me to introduce him to this event, I said, you're from New Jersey? He showed me his long form birth certificate, and there it was. <laughs> New Brunswick, New Jersey. My second question was, are you bringing Catherine? Uh, I was just kidding. Of course I would do it, and delightfully. Michael and I are actually family. We're third cousins once removed, so we're practically brothers. <laughs> and even if, we weren't a member, even if we weren't family, I was a huge and am a huge admirer of his talent and his character. Michael delivers amazing, amazingly inspired performances with such nuance. Every time you see him on the screen, you feel it's like the first time. And it's probably helpful that his hair looks the same as it did in 1972. <laughs> Think about it. Michael has covered a lot of ground. He had the lead role in Romancing the Stone, and he was a romancer of Sharon Stone, separate roles. He was the president of the United States and a philanderer. Those are separate roles also. <laughs> and he was a man determined to destroy society and an investment banker. Again, surprisingly, separate roles. <laughs> so if the Jets can cover as much ground as Michael has, I would be a very, very happy camper. <laughs> you know, thank you. Thank you. Even though, even though Michael is recognized as an actor, he's, a very, he's also a very accomplished producer. Only Sir, Sir Lawrence Olivier and he, and he are the only people that have received both, both Oscars for both, for both of those, actor and producer. Looking around this room, Michael is in great company. Artists, entrepreneurs, mentors, teachers, those are the faces of New Jerseyans that I know and respect. Michael, the characters that, that I admire the most that you play are those men who persevered against odds, against all odds, individuals who in the end did the right thing. The honest commander-in-chief in the American president, everybody's favorite, the brave cameraman in the China Syndrome, the noble treasure hunter in Romancing the Stone. In many ways, these characters are not unlike Michael himself. And that's why Michael represents the best of this state and why I'm so honored to present him now to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. I know you're all going to be very sorry to hear that I am the last uh, one nom on nominated tonight. Uh, breakfast is being served uh, outside when you go there. Woody, uh, that was a beautiful introduction. Thank you, Thank you so much, you. and uh, here's to a, a great year. Thank you very much. May the Meadowlands be, uh, we have a fantastic time. All right, so, you know, really wonderful. Thank you. You know, Woody alluded to our, um, our familiar relationship, and that, of course, is why I'm here as a, uh, as a native of, of New Jersey. Um, my father, Kirk, and my mother, Diana, well, I'll give a, my father, Kirk, was in the Navy. Um, late in the war, he was an officer and uh, was working on a, you know, one of those sub chasers, those, those little boats that chase subs, and they drop the death charges off. And they had a new crew, and um, so they were practicing the depth charges. And basically what happened is they blew themselves up the, on the boat. And so he got an honorable discharge. He had some internal bleeding and this and that. 
And uh, so he went back to being a, a young actor, and they lived in Greenwich Village with my mother, and mom got pregnant. Um, but they were very fortunate in that my mother's sister, uh, Ruth, my mother's older sister, Ruth, uh, married a gentleman named Seward Johnson. Um, this is the brother of Woody's grandfather. Um, and as a result, they had a place in New Brunswick. Uh, and eventually, Seward and Ruth got a divorce, and they had this beautiful house and beautiful property. So my father and mother used to come out on the weekends and staying in this one-room apartment in New York, this gorgeous uh, estate out in New Brunswick, which worked out uh, pretty nicely. And uh, fortunately, uh, on one of those weekends, um, I kept popped out a little early. <laughs> so um, I was at uh, St. Peter's Hospital in, uh, in New Brunswick. And, um, and when I realized tonight and what I do share, I think, with, with, with my other um, inductees is the sense that in our business, we're gypsies. You know, we're traveling around all the time. So the New Jersey Hall of Fame helped remind me of where my roots are uh, and where I started. Not to mention the fact that two of my dearest friends, Danny DeVito and Jack Nicholson, will not have anything up on me anymore. So, there'll be a lot of Jersey talk out in California coming out, believe that. Um, it's, it's, it really, really is an honor to be shared with these, these other inductees here this evening, and I thank all of you so much. Um, I'm thinking a little bit of my daughter, Karis, who's nine years old. I just finished seeing her in her third grade after school singing and drama programs, and she was fantastic. And um, it, could be, it could be that a few years from now, since she was born in Ridgewood, that you might be seeing Karis Douglas up on the stage. So thank you all very much. Pleasure to be here.